The Economic uh, Recovery and Growth Plan was a document published while President Buhari was away on vacation abroad uh, in the month of uh, March. So, now that he's back, he's now going to formally unveil this document at 11 o'clock local time this Wednesday. So, now all eyes will be on the President and his administration to give Philip to this document that was published by the National uh, planning and the budget ministry on the Senator Udo Udoma. So now that this is going to be on the market, the key question on the street, what well, the question is, is what's the market? What's the need for the market? Coincidentally, the IMF is also releasing the staff, latest staff report on Article 4 consultation papers, uh, 2.30. So uh, very interesting and a very busy day for a lot happening on the main street side. So let's take it to the market street. Eromosele Aziba is an investment analyst with Afinvest uh, in uh, Lagos and he's uh, joining us here in the studio live to talk to this. Good morning. Good morning, boss. And thank you. I'm sure since this document was published a few weeks ago before the president returned uh, from overseas, uh, a few comments have been going on there. What's the expectation? Read to the documents, the various sections and what have you. Uh, what, before today, what's the thinking uh, uh, around the markets as far as uh, our, the analyst community, as far as the ERGP is concerned? Yes, I think it's, it's been quite positive in the sense that now we finally have a framework by which we can we, we can see the plans of this of this government for lifting the economy from the current state that it is back to set it on a on a path of growth and it would also serve as a benchmark by which you can measure the performance of this administration against what what was what was said and looking at the various plans that are cut across both the the fiscal and, and monetary monetary arm and generally the whole economy and even some external um, external parties you can tell that we expect if if it's implemented fully to have a positive impact on on, on the market one of the hardest knock that the buhari's administration had received was lack of policy clarity in 2015 in 2016 so does this, do this ERGP, does this document, does this document provide that clarity for you, for analysts in the market? Oh, well, what we could see was that there, there was some emphasis on creating some sort of synergy between both the monetary, monetary uh, arm as well as the fiscal arm in order to have a, a synchronized policy for which they intend to, to uh, move the, the economy forward. So yes... They're, they're, they're trying to put in place some um, steps that could ensure that the misalignment of policies that, that we, we've had for, for some time now can come together and achieve a singular goal. So in terms of what has been the balls around the marketplace uh, since last week, late last week, when the IMF press statement came out and said, look, uh, we welcome, quote unquote, the ERGP, but you got a long list of what you call to-do lists in yes. the President Buhari's inbox. Yes, it's 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 quite it's quite a long list of, of, of things that they need to do, and most of them are medium to long-term plans. So they might not necessarily have any immediate impact on the market. But one of the short-term plans as there is in relation to the FX market, which has been which has been a major concern. From the IMF statement that was, that was um, released last week, they commended the CBN for the recent drive to improve um, FX liquidity within, within the system. But they also noted the fact that there, there's also that need to ensure that some of the current restrictions which, which are in the market need to be lifted to ensure that the market can perform if, um, efficiently and the Naira can be allowed to find its true value. And then we can attract the much needed foreign inflows back into into the economy and this would also rebuild some of the lost confidence that that that, that has plagued uh, our markets and the resultant effect of that would be some significant improvements in market performance especially in the equities market knowing that the foreign players used to be the the major participants in 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 the market and if you recall last year when they announced the introduction of the flexible exchange rate we saw the massive reaction that, that we had in, in in the market so if this is actually done and some of the issues currently facing the fx market are resolved 
then we should see the general positive buzz around uh, around the market. That's a bit, taking a bit of that question from my mouth as to what exactly do the markets really want from the Harris administration. Well, in, 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 the, in the short term, like, like I mentioned, um, it's broadly tied to the FX market and alignment in policy and ensuring that we have some consistency in policy to give, because it, it's quite difficult for an investor to make decisions based on uncertainty. So certainty is one of the, is, is a key factor, knowing what, what, the, what the plan is, what they plan to do, so you can build your own decisions around that plan. And I believe this is what the ERGP is, is meant to stand for. It gives you a sort of sense of what they plan to do, the laid out plans for the next uh, three, to, three to four years. So you can make your, as an investor, you can make your decision based on, based on this plan. Do, do you think President Buhari will say something or anything new today when he unveiled his document? Uh, if yes or if no, what would you want to hear from the president, what for that clarity or details are you looking for soundbites when this is formally unveiled as to move this document forward from this uh, state of being published to a state of implementation? Yes, I, I think one of the major challenges that we've had in this country has not necessarily been creation of plans. It's been the implementation of the plans that has been a, 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 major, a, a major challenge. So we believe that a lot of uh, investors and, and uh, concerned um, parties will be looking towards his, his guidance on how the, the plan to implement the, some of the, the laid out objectives, um, which different uh, arms of, of the government or which different bodies will be responsible for achieving each of the, of the various objectives. And we, we believe this, this could be one of the major determinants of the eventual success of, 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 of the plan. If from the, let's look at the fixed income space here. Uh, how, wh how much of what the ERGP will do will likely impact on the fixed income market beyond just buying treasury bills and Naira bond and the clawing some interest on it because it's safe, it's and all of that. What specifics do you, do you would you want to see from the fixed income side? Uh, so, so what we expect is, um, you know, even from the IMF statement that, that that was released as regards the ERGP, they made mention of the fact that um, federal government's interest payments, as a as a as a proportion of um, revenue, has has doubled over 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 the last year. And this is broadly due to the fact that we've seen higher higher rates at the fixed income market. The rate at which the government has been has been borrowing has been on the rise. So there's a need to strengthen the revenue generation, the revenue generation basket of of, of, of the federal government, so that we can see some reductions in the borrowing costs. and yes, in bor in borrowing costs, and then we could see some sort of um, decline in in um, in yields in 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 the in the market in the layman's language we need to generate more revenue yes because we've borrowed so much with the right hand we need to generate more with revenue. our left hand yes so that this the right hand is looking really heavy and we're not generating much with our left hand before we our left right hand gets broken that's, that's simply that's, what that's, it that's spot on boss in other words the debt market the borrowing size the debt size of the sovereign any subnationals, which yeah. is the state and the local government, is getting heavy. And that was in that IMF report as well. Yes, yes. That, that was included in the IMF report. And it sort of raised this concern to further stress the fact that we need to strengthen our revenue generation, improving um, the non-oil non generated revenue because we can't continue to, to depend on oil. And this is in line with some of the moves that the government is taking to to show up um, revenue generation, and I think one of the one of the suggestions that they made was an 